And now to talk about our Mojo of the Week, let's turn it over to Martin. Uh, what do you have for us this week? Thanks, Nick. Have you ever wanted to include a full-fledged Ajaxified system for private messages between users on your Drupal site? There is a module for that. It's called Private Message, and it was originally created in April of 2017 by Jay Pan, a fellow Canadian, but the most recent release is by Lucas Heading, who hails from Nicaragua and is a prolific contrib maintainer in his own right. Now, it has... In terms of versions available, 8.x-2.0, beta 18, and 3.0 versions available, the latter of which works with Drupal 9 and 10. It is actively maintained. In fact, that latest release was in October of 2023. It has 130 open issues, but only four of those are bugs against the 3.0.x branch. It does have test coverage, and it does have uh, documentation, although the handbook pages seem to date back to 2017, so hopefully the installation setup haven't changed too much since then. It is officially in use by almost 2,000 sites, and really the, uh, the private message module works by giving your users permissions-based access to send private messages to each other once the uh, module is installed. The messages and threads entities are fieldable, and in general, the module is made to be highly configurable, so you can tailor it to meet your site's specific needs. That includes the frequency for asynchronous operations like loading new messages, which can be done without a full page refresh. There's also a companion module to use for Node.js for the asynchronous operations to reduce, reduce uh, load on both the server and the browser. Now, that uh, configuration... Um, or the asynchronous uh, setup also allows for browser push notifications. So, or you can use the uh, integration with the message module to send notifications via email, SMS, and more, including aggregating the notifications into Digest. Uh, companies have often dedicated, often have a dedicated messaging solution like Slack or Teams that they use for internal users. But something like this can be a good solution for an extranet or a vendor portal where the users may represent a variety of organizations. It's also worth mentioning that both private message and the message modules are included in the open social distribution. So that could be a way to try out a pre-configured setup. So let's talk about private message. Man, so many ideas with this one. I'm like, oh, like, could could this be like a chat feature on your website where you're like, oh, support chat, go ahead, start a message, um, you know, or or just a you know a, a way to, for users in a in a community, very topical um, for a, you know to to communicate with one another. Um, I've never used this module, but it sounds very very cool. One question I do have, not sure if anybody. <clears throat> has used it or is aware of this. Um, if it's creating entities for each private message, are those entities like um, like deleted after they're, they've been been concluded or like is there some sort of cleanup or is it a potential for you to have like hundreds of, of kind of like private message nodes floating around your Drupal website? I mean, I suppose technically they would be uh, message entities and not nodes, but I, I I know what you mean, and and I suspect that you would probably want to have some kind of a system. I don't know if one is provided, uh, but I can definitely see, um, you know, that potentially being an issue if it is a feature that gets heavily used. Right. I mean, either way, I think it's I think it's pretty cool. I think it gets you a large a large part of the way there. I, I think what's interesting is like. If any of our listeners are inclined, I'd love to see like a comparison between this and like some popular like um, support chat tools to see how how it stacks up or or what the pros and cons to uh, going one way versus the other might be. Yeah, I, I, I would. I imagine I imagine there's a bunch of performance things to consider too with this kind of thing because you know people you can have a highly traffic site or even a high content site, but people aren't creating people generally are creating pages and nodes at the rate that you would be for something like this, right? Where you're like, when people are chatting, people sometimes will send five or 10 messages in like five seconds, right? Like that, that can really increase load. Um, although having kind of an infrastructure and, you know, module to kind of work around those types of issues with, I think is huge value. Those, I, I would those not want to build this myself. 
those stream of conscious, um, those stream of conscious chatters that are like every, every thought is a different sentence, a different <laughs> chat message. Um, that's what I think Nick's, Nick's talking about there. Yeah. I think in the context of uh, support, I could also see there being value. You know, if you were using uh, like a Zendesk or something like that, using their chat probably has features where it's easier to either like ingest that whole conversation into a ticket as you create it. So like, for some of those UK use cases using an integration that, you know, ties directly into yeah. that use case, maybe of higher value. But, you know, to me, as you say, w the value of something in Drupal is that it's, you know, a very flexible, you can sort of, you know, tie yeah. that into exactly whatever it is your, your site is trying to use. And if you don't have that other system, then, then this can be a nice way to, to sort of satisfy that. I mean, there, there's also a potential cost savings there too, right? Like you, you have a system like, you know, Zendesk or something like that, that you're paying for. Like if you can, you know, uh, you know, there, there's various sides to that argument. Um, I know like, you know, you're paying for it, it's getting feature enhancements, but you know, rolling your own sometimes is, is necessary and, and beneficial. So Definitely this, can see both sides. It's actually on on our backlog for um for our community portal. And mm -hmm. one of the things I want to roll out this year, and in our use case, we have a, a Discord community for mm -hmm. the community just to chat. Um, but one of the big things that we also have is we have a directory of um, users that have opted in to be listed and their profile listed. Oh, okay. And people can mark themselves as being like open for work. They're freelancers, consultants, et cetera. So one of the challenges is you find somebody that looks like they can do something you want or they can help you with something. How do you find them? How do you reach out to them? Like, are they on Discord? Are they on right now? How do I find them? So that's mm -hmm. one of the gaps this is going to help us fill is allow people to connect, whether they're looking for help or they want to work on something together or, or what have you. So, um, yeah, this is a good timing for us. We'll, we're going to be doing this in the, hopefully in the next quarter or two. Oh, very cool. Well, thanks, Martin. And if listeners have suggestions, what's the best way for them to do that? They can find me on all the Drupal platforms as at ManClue, but uh, happily, happy to also receive uh, nominations for Module of the Week in the Talking Drupal channel of Drupal Slack.